Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by RAND Group. My name is Jamie Setterbow, and in today's video, we will be going over income statements. This is the income statement report, which is currently showing income, expenses, and net income for the entire company over the last fiscal year. Down here are all of our available filters. There are some preference settings that will affect what you see here. For example, the report by period user preference will determine if this report data is calculated by a date range or by period. Also, this report can be run on a cash or accrual basis depending on your setting and the cash basis reporting preference. If you have a One World account, you'll be able to filter by subsidiary, which we can see here. It's important to note that any inactive classes, departments, locations, or subsidiaries that you might have will be available as filters to provide historical reporting and also to avoid any unbalanced totals. So if we change this to date to the same as the from date, which would be January of 2017, and click refresh, we will see the income statement for January 2017. We can further customize what we see in the column filter by adding our classes as columns. So now we see the breakdown per class that we have defined for our company for the month of January. If we change this back to the last fiscal year, we will be able to see the information for each different class for the entire last fiscal year. If you click on this more arrow, you'll open up further filter options. Instead of seeing this report broken down into each one of these classes, we can choose a class or classes specifically that we wanna see. So here we will choose fiber optics, click OK, and refresh the report. And now we have just a fiber optics column and we can see all of the information for the last fiscal year for the fiber optics class. If we click this view detail hyperlink, we can view individual transactions for each income and expense account that fall within the filters we have set. We can also view the totals for each account and category. And we can open any of these by clicking on the hyperlink. So here we have a vendor bill from the quarter and class we have defined in our filters. You can now click on this back to summary hyperlink and you're back to the summary view. Thank you for viewing this video provided by RAND Group. If you have any questions or would like more information about NetSuite, feel free to contact us.